So one of J.K. Rowling's friends exposed her genitals to children in Scottish Parliament. This is not a joke. Like, it sounds like some Looney Tunes bullshit, but it is absolutely 100% serious. And if you will not be decent towards women who are being raped right now in jails that you're in, in charge of, if you will not be decent, then I will be indecent. Get it right up, you! So what you're looking at is a woman having a meltdown in Scottish Parliament. Her name is Gussie Grips, which is perhaps the most unfortunate name that you could possibly have after such an incident occurring. This is one of those situations where if a trans woman did exactly the same thing that this woman just did in Scottish Parliament, they get called a pedophile. People would say that they were trying to expose themselves and groom children. Their life would be the subject of ruination. But funny enough, on the website Mumsnet, which is the UK's largest parenting forum and also a haven for anti-trans activists to organize, some of them actually thought that she was trans. So here are some really illuminating screenshots from Mumsnet where gender critical feminists are unaware that the woman in Scottish Parliament was also a gender critical feminist. Here's one of them saying they can't help themselves. Seems to be a common theme in all of these rallies and demonstrations. It's almost like it's typical male pattern aggressive sexualized behavior. Or it could be wrong, given that they're women now. Another user said, apparently someone in the gallery flashed their genitals to the parliament and the audience, which included children, when the result was read out. These people are disgusting and dangerous. Oh, but they changed their tune. Just you see. So as bad writing takes points out, it turns out that JK Rowling did not just support the parliament flasher before her aggressive Merkin display. Rowling has liked at least two tweets seemingly praising Elaine Miller, who is Gussie Grips, for exposing her genital region in a chamber where children were present. And this isn't even the first time that JK Rowling has praised Elaine Miller either. Just last month, she did the same. So JK Rowling went to bat for Gussie Grips, saying that Gussie Grips speaks for girls and women the length and breadth of Scotland. I think the craziest part about the situation to me is that they obviously know they're in the wrong, but also they don't care. When Mumsnet thought that this was a trans woman, they were outraged. But because it's one of their own, they think that she's a hero. To people like JK Rowling and gender critical feminists, they actually stand for literally nothing except for hating trans people. And it becomes an even weirder hill to die on for JK Rowling and all these gender critical feminists because what Elaine Miller did, what Gussie Grips did, is she exposed her Gussie Grip in a way that was considered a criminal act under Scottish law regarded as indecent exposure. It was done to cause fear, alarm, and distress something that it obviously did to a lot of people. But hey, at least we get some really funny memes out of this. Like this gender critical feminist who decided to make Elaine Miller look like she's black and do an homage to Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks, the woman who refused to get out of her bus seat as a stand against systemic racism, being compared to a Scottish woman who decided to expose her genitals to children. Gotta say, I knew that the right couldn't meme, but this is like, next level. I'm starting to think that a lot of gender critical talking points are entirely projection on their part. Like they have this obsession that trans women are going to go into public bathrooms and expose their genitals to children. Now I don't know about you, anytime I've used a public bathroom, it's literally just to take a shit or take a piss. But with people like Elaine Miller, she seems like she has absolutely no issue exposing her gussy grips to children. She did it in Scottish Parliament. Why wouldn't she do it in a public bathroom? People like JK Rowling and other gender critical feminists were cheering her on for indecent exposure. We all knew the gender critical feminists were insane. This isn't new information. Thankfully, despite all their coping and their seething and their crying and their shitting, the gender recognition reform bill still went through. So a little on the gender recognition reform bill. The Gender Recognition Reform Bill, which has officially been supported by the Scottish Parliament, improves the system by which transgender people can apply for a legal recognition through a gender recognition certificate. Social Justice Secretary Shona Robison said of this, This is a historic day for equality in Scotland, with the Gender Recognition Reform Bill being approved by Parliament and by members of all parties. It simplifies and improves the process for a trans person to obtain a gender recognition certificate, which many currently find intrusive, medicalized, and bureaucratic. The legislation makes no change to the Reserved Equality Act 2010 and that principles enshrined in the bill. 
As I've made clear, the Scottish government continues to support the provision of single-sex services and the rights of women. The passing of this bill is a significant step forward in creating a more equal Scotland where trans people feel valued, included, and empowered. And while this is obviously worth celebrating, unfortunately, it's caused quite a stir in Westminster. So Prime Minister Sunak confirms that the UK could block Scotland's gender recognition bill entirely. They now have 28 days to decide whether to deploy the nuclear option of prohibiting the bill from going for royal assent. If they're able to stop it, they would stop the first part of the UK that introduced a self-identification system for transgender people. The UK's Scottish Secretary, Alistair Jack, said he can invoke Section 35 of the Scotland Act, which in effect gives him a veto on laws he believes have an impact on constitutionally reserved matters, a decision that could set the stage for a bitter constitutional clash. It really sucks that trans people just wanting to live their lives and be themselves results in such chaos that there's now going to be a constitutional clash between Scotland and the rest of the United Kingdom. All because they don't want trans people to have an easier time transitioning. So that's a nitty gritty of the situation. We still have almost a month to find out whether or not the United Kingdom is going to strike down the gender recognition reform bill or if they're just going to let it pass. I'm going to be keeping a close eye on this. And as always, JK Rowling can eat my cunt.